Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. So we all want our designs to look awesome. We want our clients to see realistic backsplashes. We want them to have the right expectations of what they're going to have in their design. I want to put backsplash on this wall. So let's open up an elevation. So here's the elevation of my wall. Under the items command or on items tab is something called surface. If you click on surface, Surface allows you to trace or draw areas. You can draw floor surfaces, wall surfaces, whatever you want, and you can apply textures to it. The way it works is you move your cursor over and you simply click at a starting point. And then everywhere you want to change direction, you simply move to that point and you click. For instance, I'm going to go to the top of the cabinet here. I'm going to scroll over to the top of the cabinet here, come down to the bottom edge of the cabinet, all the way over to the tall cabinet back down to the top of the cabinet, go all the way back to the beginning. And here's the key. Wherever you started, you clicked, you want to end at the same place and click again. Once you do that, you can right click and you're finished. Now, when you right click and finish, it will come up and it will show you the default tile that would be placed. Now, this is not the tile that our customers are choosing today. Let's go in and put some real tile in. If I click on the Browse button right here, and we give it a second, this is the part that's going to be new for a lot of you. If you're already using Tile, you may not have seen this screen before. In 11.5, when you click on it, it comes up and it gives you these beautiful thumbnails of all of the generic tiles that are available. Okay? Now, you could also go over and say, I want to go to a texture library. What's a library? A library is something that you and I created. 2020 didn't create this. IT development didn't create this. You and I go out and get our own tiles, real tiles, and use them in a kitchen for a client. So I can actually show them what their backsplash is really going to look like. If I click on the circle next to user tile, I'm sorry, user texture, you'll see that I've already placed or saved four tiles. These are real tiles from real websites. If I clicked on this, See the pattern appears here on the right? I can determine how the scale, 12 inches by 12 inches. I can make it 15 inches, 18 inches, 20 inches, whatever space it's supposed to represent. I can click on Appearance. I can click on the Browse button here and actually make it glossy or satin or flat or whatever I want. And then when I click OK, it will change my tile. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to show you how to go get a tile and import. The way you import a tile, if you click on this button right here, this is called Browse. It will give you a list of tiles. These tile patterns are tile patterns that I have gone out online and saved on my computer. You'll notice that under Documents, I have a 2020 file. In that file, I created a folder called My Textures. And inside that folder, I created Wall Tile. If I just clicked on My Textures, you'll see that I have folders in here for brick and door samples, and pictures, and stone, and tin ceilings. But I want to be on wall tile. So here's wall tile. And these again are images that I saved. So let's say I want to use this tile. If I click on that tile, and simply click Open, it brings it into 2020. It shows me a preview. It asks me what size it's going to be. And if I click OK, it will change my tile backsplash to that tile. When I come back out of here, if I want to take a quick view of this, so if I zoom in, I'm going to tilt it. Let's, let's say we look down at an angle on this. Now, that's pretty cool because I could trace and put tile anywhere. I could trace and put uh, borders in my tile. I could trace sections and add anything that I want, floor or walls. Now, your question is going to be, John, how did you get those tiles? Let me show you. If I go to my browser, You'll notice that I have a number of tabs already open. One of the tabs I have open is actually at a Tile Shop's website. They already have thumbnails created of Tile. All I need to do is go in and right click on the thumbnail of the Tile and see where it says Save Picture. If I click Save Picture, it will open up, and if it doesn't go right to your folder, you just simply go through your documents to the folder where you save your Tile. And if I click Save, it will actually add that tile to my portfolio, and now that tile would be available for any of my designs. And by the way, I'm showing you wall tiles. 
This could be stone, brick. It could be ceiling tiles. It could be wood floors. It could be wood graining. It could be countertop textures. It could be wallpaper. It could be anything that you want to use in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your interior design to show the client exactly the materials that they're getting. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community.